That shouldn't be a turnoff. If you're someone who wants to make Gosu mapping videos and has a perspective different from my own, you've likely got ideas about what you want to talk about already. As someone who's taking the time to learn about mapping, you likely also have the availability to write and create a simple video. Huh. I might as well give it a try. Hello everyone. I've always wanted to create a mapping video, but I've never had the confidence of whether or not other people would enjoy or learn from it. I don't have as much experience as Pishy Fat or Mo. Oh wow, I like none compared to them. But there is one thing we all have in common. Knowing the basics of mapping. We all know how to create patterns, streams, search for metadata, etc. But for someone who's just beginning their mapping journey, they either have limited or no knowledge about any of those elements. So, without dragging out for too long, I'm going to try and help those beginners. If you already know how to enter in metadata, difficulty settings, and have found a song compatible with your skill level, skip to the timestamp on screen. First things first, you need a song in background. Song choice is extremely important here. There are seven main genres of music in Oaths. Anime, 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 <laughs> anime, drum and bass, piano, metal, dubstep, pop, and official soundtracks in BGM. Anime is typically the easiest to map, so you should start there. Try and find a song you can tolerate around 180 BPM if you dislike the anime genre. Once you have the MP3, find a related background or picture of any girl with massive tits and you'll be all set. Fantastic! You now have an MP3 in background. Select the edit option from the main menu and drop the mp3 anywhere on the screen and then click on the empty space. Amazing! You're now confronted with the metadata box. If you picked a song that has Japanese lettering or is a confusing name, it's now a better idea to choose a different song. You'll be spared many headaches. If you don't have a difficulty name immediately, you can just type in a placeholder and move on. For difficulty settings, it's dependent on how challenging you want the map to be. Here on screen are the usual values for each level of difficulty. After you've changed those, click OK and now you have to time your song. This means finding the BPM and offset. Usually, the first timing point should be placed on the first, louder sound within the song. This sounds appropriate, so we'll place an uninherited timing point here. If you can find the BPM before mapping, say by using a website, that's ideal. If not, press T to the beat to find a somewhat accurate timing. Giving your rhythm sense isn't terrible. You might need to move or edit that timing point from where it first was, because it usually won't be right immediately. If you're unsure about this process or simply need help, join Mod Help and someone there should be willing to guide you. Side note, this is one of the only instances I've ever had to change the time signature. Apparently this demo song's in 3. Even though 98% of songs will be in 4, you need to be aware of the other 2%. And don't forget to set your bass slider velocity. A good starting place is somewhere around 2, but you can change it to whatever you want. Wow. That was a lot of work, and we haven't even begun mapping yet. You can disregard most of the tabs and buttons on the right and concentrate on placing objects for now. You can use shortcuts 1, 2, 3, and 4 to select, place circles, sliders, and spinners respectively. Now I can't tell you how to specifically place objects because every song is different, but how I can help is by distinguishing each layer of the music and determining the rhythm you'll choose. If you're not able to locate sounds within the music, this part's going to be very difficult for you. And this is why you need to pick a simpler song when you're beginning to map. More sophisticated songs and genres can be overwhelming by using this tactic, so you'll need to start basic and gradually climb up to the songs you enjoy. I have a test song here that I don't have much prior knowledge about, where I'll show you how I discern layers of music. Let's compare this process here to writing an essay or creative writing, so we have a reference point most people can relate to. First, we need to identify what instruments the song is even using. Most of the time it will be simple percussion, some vocals, and perhaps a little piano. Let's listen for a second. In this song, it's a synth program to sound like an organ with a constant half-beat rhythm. For our essay, this would be jotting down bullets while you already know about the subject matter you were assigned. Now, let's place the rhythms we are going to use by putting down circles and sliders. They can be anywhere on the playfield for the time being. This would be turning one of those bullets into a sentence. Here comes the challenging part. We need to create some patterns in order to organize our objects and express an idea. Using geometrical shapes and associating sliders visually is the easiest and most common way to achieve this. Since there are only two instruments playing right now without any vocals, we should use small spacing and then expand out as more layers are added to the song. The first three seconds should consist of primarily circles. In comparison, you have a couple of complete sentences in your essay from those earlier bullets. After that, oh no, that instrument is playing a sparser rhythm now. Do we continue mapping with the same density as before, or should we use longer sliders instead? To answer this question, you need to listen ahead for a second or two.
The answer is using sliders, but not whole beat ones. In the background, what sounds like a distant train plays about as actively as that one half rhythm, but not as loud. So we can use a mix of circles and sliders to represent both the whole and half beat rhythms, with some triples for the higher pitched synths. Over time as you progress on your mapping journey, this tedious process will become more efficient and instinctual. Some songs require starkly different rhythms slash arrangements than others. Part of it is learning the various shortcuts. For streams, make a simple slider, select it, and use Ctrl Shift F to convert it. I encourage you to map more and discover more about the editor, since I'm not going to describe it all here. The last thing I'd like to mention is to be experimental with your patterns and song choices, and, most importantly, to never doubt yourself. This doesn't mean being a stubborn, entitled prick about your first creations, though. You WILL receive feedback from modders and friends about whether or not the concept you employed worked. Now, if you're feeling discouraged because you can't create an epic masterpiece, remember, we all had to start somewhere, too. Every one of us mappers, legendary or not, from DJ Pop, Miss Magius, C Trot, Hollow Wings, Nakagawa Kanon, the Freedom Dive Mapper, I'm sorry if I butchered that, Rurucci, Fishy Fat, Scub Domino, myself included, and so on, at one point had to place our first objects. It's a long road to stardom, after all, <laughs> and I'm not even close to it yet. And that's about it for this video. Tell me in the comments whether or not you'd like to see me produce more of these. I enjoyed making this, even if people disagree with my process of designing maps. Have a great day, everyone.